What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Google Analytics 4 and Universal Google Analytics on your Shopify website. Now I'm gonna be doing this on this Shopify website here. If we come over to my Tag Assistant, what you're gonna see is on this website, the only thing I have installed right now is Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to be using Google Tag Manager to install Google Analytics 4. And I actually have a video on my channel where you can easily see how to install Google Tag Manager on a Shopify website, which I will put this video in the description. So you can easily find this URL and watch this video if you're not sure how to install Google Tag Manager on your website. So let's come back over here to Google Analytics. And the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to get started today. So you need to have a Google account in order to install Google Analytics on your website. So make sure you have a Google account. And when you click on Get Started Today, since I already have Google Analytics, I'm just gonna start in my admin screen here and I'm gonna be creating a new account. Now before we get started here, if we come over to Shopify's own Help Center and we look at what they say for Google Analytics 4, you can see right here, Google is getting rid of Universal Analytics in July 2023. However, you cannot use Google Analytics 4 properly on Shopify with ease until March 2023. So there are some different apps that will help you set up Google Analytics 4 and all of your tracking, but it's not being managed directly through Shopify yet. And I'm not gonna go over any paid apps to install Google Analytics 4 or any custom setups. I just wanna keep this as simple as possible. We're just installing Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 on our Shopify website. So. With all that being said, let's come back over here to Google Analytics. We're going to create a new account. So I'm going to create this new account for my website. This website exists solely for the purpose of these video tutorials. So let's come over here and let's, so we're gonna name our account. Next is gonna be data sharing settings. I'm just gonna leave these as, as they are set now. And then I'm gonna click on next. So once we're in next, we need to name our property. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing, naming my property. And then we're gonna be setting our reporting time zone for my local time zone, which is New York time. So set this for your local time zone and make sure it matches the time zone you have set in Shopify as well. Now what we need to do for Shopify website is click on show advanced options and create a universal property. So universal analytics properties will stop collecting data July 1st, 2023. So March 2023, we're gonna make the switch to Google Analytics 4 on Shopify, but we're still gonna install it today. So we have create a universal analytics property checked, and now we need to do our website URL, so. Okay, and we have create both a Google Analytics 4 and universal analytics property, and we're gonna enable enhanced measurement for our Google Analytics 4 property. And now we're going to click on next. So next is answering these three questions. Industry category is going to be home and garden. Business size, so set how many employees you have with your business. And how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? Essentially, most of these are gonna be things that we wanna do. I'm gonna choose all of these top ones here and click on create. Accept the terms of service agreement, click on I accept. And now this should create our two new properties. So first thing it's gonna show us is web stream details. So this is for Google Analytics 4 gonna tell us to install our Google tag. Now, one thing you're gonna see here, install with a website builder or CMS. You're seeing all of basically the top website builders here, a lot of the different website builders, WordPress, Squarespace, Wix. So you have a lot of different large websites, Shopify is missing because they're not supporting Google Analytics 4 just yet. So we have to install it manually. I will show you exactly how to do that with Google Tag Manager and how you could do it if you're not using Google Tag Manager, but Let's click on the X here. Let's click on the X again here. And now we're gonna come back. We're in our Google Analytics 4 version here. Now I created a couple yesterday as, as I was going through this. So the one with UA here, this is gonna be our universal analytics. The one with just numbers at the bottom is gonna be Google Analytics 4. So let's start with universal analytics, come into all website data. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to admin and we are going to go to our property settings. So in property settings, we're gonna get our tracking ID right here and we are going to copy our tracking ID and we're gonna come back over to our Shopify store and you wanna to go to the admin portion of your Shopify store. So you wanna to go to the admin, which will bring us here. So now we're home and we wanna come down to online store and we wanna to go to preferences. Okay, from there we wanna scroll down and we wanna paste our Google Analytics code here. Now, if you try to paste your tracking ID for your Google Analytics 4 account, it's not going to work. 
it needs to be a UA dash, and then it's going to look a bunch of different numbers here, dash one. So we have UA, and we're going to click on save. Okay, and then once we click on save, we want to use enhanced e-commerce, and we want to click on save again. Okay, so now we have our Google Analytics code on our Shopify website. So what we need to do next is go back to Google Analytics. We're going to click on the back arrow here. We're going to go to e-commerce settings, and we're going to enable e-commerce. And we're going to enable enhanced e-commerce reporting, which means under conversions here in e-commerce, you're going to see all of your sales and product data through this e-commerce section of Google Analytics. So we'll also be able to do a lot more in terms of conversion tracking if we're running Google ads. But for right now, all we're doing is enabling e-commerce, enabling enhanced e-commerce reporting, and we're going to click on save. Okay. So let's come back over to our website. As you can see, we had the one Google Tag Manager installed here. Let's refresh the page and make sure we have our universal Google Analytics installed now too. So we'll click on the Tag Assistant again, and you can see we have Google Analytics installed as well. So now we have our universal analytics set up on our website as well. So we're gonna be able to actually track our sales on our Shopify website back into our Google Analytics account. Now, the next thing you want to do is add some referral exclusions. So if we click on the back arrow here, what we're going to do is we're going to we're looking at the admin screen again. So a lot of this is going to be done in the admin screen. That's where you do your e-commerce settings. But we're going to be under property here and we're going to go to tracking info and we're going to go to referral exclusion list. So one of the thing that one of the things that may happen with your Shopify store is you may see the wrong referrals unless you add them to the referral exclusion list for where your sales came from. So for example, they have a page here excluding refer domain, referrer domains from Google Analytics tracking. So we scroll down here and one of the options is PayPal. So what could potentially happen is somebody comes to your website, maybe it's through organic search. They end up purchasing from you, but they're purchasing from PayPal. So when they go through the PayPal checkout process and then they go back to your store, they're going to be actually counted as a PayPal referral. That PayPal referred the sale, which obviously the sale should go through organic search. So what you want to do is take these three URLs. It should automatically add your website. If it doesn't, then add your own URL. And then you want to add these other three URLs to your referral exclusion list just by adding referral exclusion, copy and pasting the domain, create. It's that simple. And then you won't have the wrong referral traffic when you're seeing where your sales are coming from. So I'm going to add the next two. Okay, so we have all four of these referral exclusions set. So now we should have no issues with seeing our data in Universal Analytics, and it all should be set up properly. If you want to do anything custom, that would be beyond this video. So if you're looking to track more than just your basic e-commerce tracking, then that would be something you would want to do beyond this video. So we're going to come down here now. This is our Universal Analytics profile. Now we're going into Google Analytics 4. So the way I would recommend to actually install Google Analytics 4 is with Google Tag Manager. If you don't have Google Tag Manager set up, then what you need to do is go to View Tag Instructions, Install Manually, and then you need to copy this code right here, go into the back end of your website. So we're in the back end of our Shopify website. Go to Online Store and Themes. And then with your theme, you wanna click here on the three dots and click on edit code. And then what you wanna do is go to the theme.liquid file and you're gonna see right here, see I have the Google Tag Manager code right here. Now instead of having Google Tag Manager here, what you would wanna do is paste your Google Analytics 4 code. So if we set our Google Analytics 4 code here, click on save, then we will have effectively installed Google Analytics 4 on our website. However, what we wanna do is use Google Tag Manager. So we place our Google Tag Manager code here, and then we can manage all of the different pixels we want to add to our website through Google Tag Manager. It makes it much easier to accomplish that way. So let's sign into our Google Tag Manager account instead. Okay, so we come in here to Google Tag Manager, and I've already published my container. So I installed Google Tag Manager on my website. I published my container. So what we want to do now is click on Add a New Tag, and then we're going to do GA4 configuration. And we're going to click on our tag type. And what we're going to do is choose GA4 configuration from the tag type. Now you can also install Universal Analytics 
through Google Tag Manager, but this is where Shopify has made it easy where you can just add your UA code directly into the back end of your Shopify website. So in this case, we're gonna do GA4 configuration and we need to paste our measurement ID here. So what we're gonna do is come back to Google Analytics and we need to either come down here and copy this right there, the G dash, but what you can do is just come to your web stream details when you're in installing. So you're gonna see here, so you can easily find it. You're gonna go to the back end admin and then you're gonna go to data streams. So from data streams, you're gonna see your web data stream here and we're gonna copy this measurement ID you can also just click right here and we're gonna come over here to Google Tag Manager, paste our measurement ID right here. So send a page view event when this configuration loads, come down and triggering, we're gonna do all pages. So all pages, we have our GA4 configuration. We're gonna click on save. And now what we're gonna do is click on submit. Okay, you can name your version, add a short description if you want to, and then we'll click on publish. Okay, so we have Google Analytics 4 now added to our website, and so we can confirm it if we come over here. So obviously we went to Tag Assistant before. This is Google Tag Assistant. We can see Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. Let's refresh the page. And if we come over here and click on Google Tag Assistant again, you can see we have our global site tag, global site tag added. And this is the same ID for our Google Analytics 4 account. So now we have Google Analytics, Google Analytics 4, and Google Tag Manager on our website. Obviously, once March 2023 rolls around, we can completely switch to Google Analytics 4. But for right now, Universal Analytics is still performing exactly the same. In all honesty, it's I still prefer it to Google Analytics 4. I wish they weren't getting rid of it. I wish they got rid of Google Analytics 4, but I'm assuming it has something to do with privacy and the way everyone is tracked. So if you have any questions about installing Universal Analytics or Google Analytics 4 on your website, this was supposed to be a basic video. I'm not going over any custom configuration. This is how I would recommend installing them on your website. And then if you are noticing any tracking issues, that's when you would wanna go back and make sure that you're able to track all of these different events. Now I'm gonna go through more in-depth videos in terms of tracking and your Shopify website, specifically with Google Analytics 4 but I'm gonna wait until the complete switch has happened through Shopify, because I assume it's gonna be much easier to work with over time. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.